Well, good morning from Palmerton, Pennsylvania. And it's a pretty good stop. Obviously, we ended up staying the night last night. Recharged the batteries, got some video out, ate some food. Um, had a decent night's sleep. Uh, the mattress in the hostel is super, super comfortable, but the problem is it was hotter than hell's hinges in there. I mean, it was next to impossible to sleep. So uh, we went out into the, the common area and just kind of crashed over the couch. Not sure if we were supposed to do that, but we did. Um, yeah, pretty hot. And all I could think about, get it in. All I could think about was uh, <laughs> Hawk and T-Rex at Uncle Johnny's in the bunk room and how the wood stove chased him out. Uh, I just had that story going through my head last night. Uh, but it's all good. It all worked out. Uh, we did everything we needed to do. And now we're headed back out towards the side trail. Oh yeah, check it out. Tony's Pizza. That place was here in 99. And it's every bit as good now as it was then. And I take great comfort in knowing that uh, I'll be getting good pizza at least until we cross the Mason-Dixon line and then it'll be back to crappy pizza again. So we've been walking down uh, the Blue Blaze back to the AT and it's just an old railroad cut most of the way. Uh, it's a pretty nice walk. You can kind of look down on the river and we're almost back to the White Blaze. It didn't take long at all. So I just spoke with a couple of hikers headed north and they said that we had been through the worst of the rocks already and look at this oh, it's like walking through air conditioning there's such a nice breeze no direct sunlight and we're just crawling along because I think that's what we need to do and we're gonna walk till we find water and probably camp somewhere and enjoy this beautiful day I'd rather rest up out here than be in town in a hostel. I'd always rather be in the woods than in a hostel. But sometimes it just works out best to stay at one. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that we're back in the woods and that the path is not quite as strenuous today. A wood, a wood sound that you don't hear very often. That tent back there, he probably couldn't hear, but they were uh, blasting some hardcore techno. And uh, as it passed by, I heard some bottles clanking, and I'm pretty sure they weren't Pepsi bottles. So we cruised on past, and I warned everybody who was headed north because. Uh, yeah, I got maybe a hundred yards past and uh, one of them just let out a blood curling scream and a hiker just passed me. He just stopped in his tracks and I kind of looked back and waited for a second. Uh, and I saw a couple more people coming. So, uh, yeah, crazy times here on the AT, but you got to be ready for anything. So. Always be on guard and be alert. And what's kind of strange is those jokers back there, they're a good ways from the road. They had to put in a little bit of effort to get here. And they had this big heavy dome tent and some uh, car camping chairs, stuff like that. And uh, no doubt uh, 
a large quantity of adult beverages in glass containers. So, yeah. Best in a situation like that to just keep walking and let them kill themselves. Uh, there's nothing you can do. And you can't rationalize with the drunk idiot anyway. So, anyway. Hopefully they will do no harm to anybody. And, uh... We will continue south. Check out that beautiful moss. It's got to feel good on Garvey's paws. And follow it back this way to that beautiful campsite back there. If we had water, we'd be there. And just when you thought they were going, they're back. And a few more boulder fields. We're just taking it slow. One easy step at a time. No point in trying to fight the rocks, because you won't win. You hear that? Coyote's got something. In the middle of the day, even. Okay, so we're at Bake Oven Knob Shelter. And we're going to go see if we can find the spring, because we need water. So this is home for the night. And check out homie. All comfortable on my sleeping bag with his ball there. Yeah, he's out. It's been a long day. It's only like three in the afternoon right now, and we I don't know how far we've gone. Um, I'll let you know when I figure it out, but uh, we were probably walking one mile an hour maximum, and pretty much for most of that, I had Garvey's pack off him. And uh, yeah, I think we're just both sore. I'm ready to just uh, get something to eat and lay down. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do um, and maybe try and upload a video. This uh, campsite here has great phone signals, so um, if we have enough battery, that's what we're going to do. And uh, we'll catch up with you a little bit later.